Hi guys! In today's video, I thought we could just sit here, drink a little tea together, and go over my 2021 art goals. 2020 was a crazy year. There were so many ups and downs, way more than I can keep track of. And entering the new year, I don't expect the world to suddenly go back to normal. Far from it. However, I do have some art goals that I hope to achieve over the next 12 months, no matter what state the world is in. My first goal is to learn a new skill. In particular, I would really, really love to learn how to embroider. Last year, I spent most of my time learning digital art. I now want something that's completely different to spend time on during 2021. I started painting digitally because that's the move I wanted to make for my art practice. I want to learn to embroider for something fun and relaxing to do that isn't necessarily tied to my art practice. If you have any recommendations about how to start to embroider or if you have any packs or something like that, just comment it down below. I'd really appreciate it. My next goal is to view more art in person. I am very much a homebody. I do go and visit galleries when we're not in the middle of a global pandemic, maybe once a month or so, but this coming year I really want to start visiting galleries more, at least maybe one every fortnight or so. But galleries have always had this calming effect for me and they really help me feel refreshed and just happy. I want to start experiencing this more rather than making it once a month or once every two months. If you have any recommendations for some galleries that I should visit around Melbourne, comment them down below. I also really want to start using a sketchbook. One thing I have always been jealous of with other artists is their ability to use and maintain a sketchbook. Even when I was a traditional artist, I struggled so much to use a sketchbook because I was always more interested in the final artworks rather than sketches or something along the way. So this year I really want to change that. I want to start putting more thought into my works and effort into planning them rather than just sketching it out and painting on top of it. A few weeks ago I went to Kmart and I found this very cheap A5 journal which is about three dollars I think and I plan on using that. In the long run if I start actually using this the way I want to then I would really, really love to use one of those beautiful leather-bound books in the future. I also would really love to start putting more time and effort into my creativity. I've struggled with a lot of anxiety this year, so my creativity and my art practice took a bit of a dip. It wasn't, it wasn't my main priority, and I didn't put as much time and effort into it as I really would have liked. So this year, I really want to focus on building up my creativity and spending more time refining it and working on it so I can actually achieve all of these goals that I have set. Lastly, I actually want to host another solo exhibition. I had my first solo exhibition in, I think it was 2019, and I feel like me and my practice have evolved so much since then. And I would love the opportunity to show myself and my art in the new light and showcase the ways I have changed. I have a few exhibition ideas rolling around in my head, so keep an eye out for me hopefully having another opportunity to exhibit my art in the future. Thank you so much for watching my video today. If you have any 2021 art goals, please share them down below. I'd really love to know what they are. And if you have any questions or any comments about my art goals, just comment them down below and I'll answer them. See you next time.